Today we're taking a look at the Type A Machine Series 1. That's right, we've been checking out the Type A machine for several months and wanted to give you guys a walkthrough of some of the features and our experiences we've had with it so far. So first up, let's take a look at the design. It features an aluminum and acrylic body with a laser cut CNC folded metal chassis. So the overall design is a nice looking machine that looks industrial. This thing is pretty huge. It's got a build volume of 305 millimeters cubed so it can make massive parts. The bed is made out of glass and it's fixed to an aluminum build plate which is also removable. There's four thumb screws on each corner that actually make it really easy to adjust for leveling the bed. And if you take a look at the back, there's a nice giant knob for adjusting the Z height. There's also a nice little graphic to help you know which way to turn the knob when you're leveling the bed, which is actually a really nice user-friendly feature. Yeah, that is. It's also got a Winchester Direct Drive system that uses 1.75 millimeter with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. And you'll notice that the nozzle is actually really thin. That's because it's a slim design that produces really fine details. It only takes about 30 seconds to heat up from zero to 230C, which is pretty fast. The nozzle itself can reach up to 270C, so it's gonna work with PET and carbon-based filaments. Those are the really strong ones that require the super hot hot end. And it's also gonna work with TPE material, so it works with NinjaFlex because it's got one of those pinch wheel designs of the extruder. That's right, and we really like the design of the extruder. It features a spring-loaded system for easily loading filament. It has a single piece melt path, so it actually reduces clogging. It's running on a linear guide system that is precision milled, so it has high quality bearings that make the movements really smooth. It also features micro steppers, which you can easily tell just by the way it sounds. So the Series 1 has one of the coolest start G-code scripts we've ever seen. So right before the print starts, the tool moves all the way up, it goes beyond the print bed, and then it starts purging. After that, it moves over to the edge and performs a nozzle wipe. So you know each print's really clean and precise. So that's pretty slick. That's right, and most of the electronics are mounted in the bottom enclosure, which you can easily get to. We really like the way the components are laid out. There's an onboard BeagleBone Black running OctoPrint, so it has built-in Wi-Fi for wireless monitoring and printing. The stepper motor drivers are right over here, and each driver has a potentiometer that can be adjusted if you ever need to recalibrate for any Z-shifting. You got the power supply over here, so if you ever wanted to upgrade to a heated bed or dual extruders, you can expand it there. There's also USB ports on the front, so you can plug in a camera and even power other devices. So the Type A machine has its own flavor of Cura, which works pretty well. But we tend to use Simplify 3D because it really offers great slicing support material. And of course it's open source firmware, so it's gonna work with any slicer. Parts have very little Z wobble and have fine details. Printing at 100 microns works best and produces amazing support structures that's both high quality and easy to remove. So we've been printing some pretty big parts, mostly large props and weapons from our favorite video games and movies. And support material really works remarkably well on parts with heavy overhangs. I think this is a great machine for visual artists, 3D modelers, engineers, and any designer or maker who is looking for a printer that can produce really high quality prints with details. The Type A machine gives this a hacker-friendly warranty, so if you find yourself in this trouble, they got your back. We definitely recommend it for anyone who's looking to invest into a high quality machine for prototyping. And it's available in the Adafruit shop now and you can save yourself a discount on Wednesdays and Thursdays with a special coupon code. So let us know what you'd like us to print with the Type A Series 1 machine. And thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more 3D printed projects and reviews from Adafruit. See you guys next week and until then, remember to make, share, and repeat. Bye everybody.